That mountain behind me during the Cold War housed one of the Soviet's most secret bases. Inside there, seven submarines could hide from spy planes, satellites and be refurbished, be rearmed to do the job they were designed to do. We're going to go inside and take a look. Well, we've got pretty special permission to drive under here. In fact, the last people who drove through these tunnels were film stars Sean Bean and Christian Slater, who were filming here. And this place really does have the feel of a Bond set, of a set from one of the Bourne movies. We've driven into the heart of the mountain, to where the submarines were kept. Behind me is the dry dock. And just to give you a sense of scale, this model is about six feet long. A real submarine would go as far as the eye can see. Stalin commissioned this place himself in 1953. It took nine years to build, just in time for the Cuban Missile Crisis. With huge metal doors at either end, this place was impregnable by nuclear attack, even a direct nuclear attack. And there was room under the mountain for 3,000 people. The Soviets didn't even trust their own. People who had access to one side of this facility didn't necessarily have access to the top secret part, where the nuclear warheads were prepared for the boats. I worked here from 1982, and my job was to make sure the supplies and parts for the submarines were always in place. I was level two state secret clearance. Level one being the highest. I only knew what my job required, not what the submarines were doing. Strangely, I learned most of what I know about the base since become a guide at the museum. People know there were submarines in the bay, but only few know there were nuclear warheads in the base in the mountain. Just a few hundred yards from where the submarines are moored is where they kept the nuclear warheads. Only level one, the top clearance, would allow you in here. 60% humidity was crucial for the safety of the warheads. And you know how they measured that? With one single human hair. If it bent, the humidity had gone too high. Three weeks it would take to replenish and rearm one of the submarines that lived in here. But there was one last trick in the design of this amazing place. Before the submarines went back out to sea, before they were open to potential view from satellites and spy planes, they could go completely underwater. They would skulk out back into the Black Sea unseen. Thank <laughs> you. 